Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. And today we're going to begin our engineering services uh, series. Uh, engineering services is the differentiator for PointWise in a sales sense. Uh, in sales we often encounter a prospective client who does not actively engage support uh, when they need it due to a perceived lack of responsiveness. Uh, because I work daily with our engineering services, I know personally how responsive they are and often leverage the service uh, throughout the sales process. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, engineering services plans, creates, delivers all versions of training available, and they are also our largest customer-facing organization. Uh, it makes sense to leverage their collective experience to generate Tutorial Tuesday material regarding topics they commonly encounter uh, when delivering a training or, or interacting with a customer. Excuse me. Over the coming weeks, we will cover these topics and the suggested actions made by our engineering services team. And today we're going to start with a feature that uh, comes up in training often that uh, the trainee uh, didn't know was available. Uh, it's quite handy and we're just simply going to uh, measure the distance between points. Uh, you're going to query the scene uh, and you'll get information back from the query. And that is the XYZ location of the point and if you select another point it'll give you the distance in between. So if I go to point wise here on this corner I'm going to use alt and the right mouse button and that will query the location of a point and then I can use the same uh, and just hold the right mouse button and I can drag that to any location in the scene and when I release the mouse uh, the right mouse button uh, I'll not only get a uh, query of the point uh, that I'm measuring the distance to, you'll get the XYZ location, but you'll get the distance. So if you notice down in the text output section, you had the XYZ location of the original point, the XYZ uh, location of the second point, and then the distance in between. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future video, uh, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.